What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the VOD channel. I know what you're thinking. Ryan, where the heck have you been? What's going on? It's been weeks. Uh, first off, just wanted to apologize for the lack of videos. I'll explain a little bit more after I do the reactions. Um, I know some people like it when I get right into the videos. So I'll only talk for about a minute here, and then at the end I'll give a full explanation. But uh, I've been going through a lot of medical stuff and a lot of you know, issues with depression and anxiety on top of it. And um, it's just been a lot trying to take care of myself mentally and not force content always want to give you guys content when I feel like I'm at my best and and um, you know I, I feel much better today so that's why I'm here um, uh, as you can see behind me a new merch drop coming out this Friday the first of September right here um, all of the proceeds towards this drop are going to go to all of my medical bills that have been stacking up. Once again, I'll get to that at the end. So if you care about me and you want to listen, stay to the end of the video. I'll give you guys an update. And uh, if you'd like to support this, follow me on Instagram, Ryan Abe. It's just my name on there. Um, and that's where I'll be posting updates and the links and everything when that's live on the first. But uh, without further ado, let's get into some catfish. It's been too long. I hope you guys are excited. I am watching a couple catfish videos today. Um, so if you enjoy this kind of content, as always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get 500 for my return. It would mean a lot to me. As always, comments are great for me to read. They give me a little distraction from all of the craziness going on in my life. So at any point, if you leave some comments, it would mean a lot to me. Um, and subscribe if you're new or if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, it would be cool for you to do that for me. It only takes a couple seconds. All those things take about 20 seconds. So without further ado, let's watch some catfish. I pause a lot. I react differently than some people. I have a soundboard here. Bruh. So those that like it, like it. Those that don't, don't worry. Not a big deal. I won't take offense to it. The first video we are watching is called This Catfish Calls from a Payphone, which immediately reminds me of Maroon 5. I'm at a payphone. I'm not, I'm not too mad about how high I got there. That was pretty good. I don't know how Adam Levine does it. By the way, I used to, uh, I did a parody to that song back in the day, and I did I'm an Ice Cream Cone. That's the truth. I lived a very bizarre life when I was younger. Okay, here we go. Let's switch over to the desktop and get to the catfish content. Let's see how this one goes. Like I said, two videos on deck today. Appreciate you for being here. Thank you for being here. Lovely to see everybody. I hope some of you missed me because I've been thinking about you guys on here a lot and I'm um, happy to be back on the channel and I'm back for good, right? So let's do this, okay? Here we go. Oh my God. Well, let's see if he sees it. Is he usually pretty quick? It's my girl Cammy. Yeah, he's usually. I haven't seen her in a while. I missed her. Oh, that's the number. He's calling from it. Oh, the phone. Oh. <laughs> All right, I like when they really just get these are the compilations. They start real quick. So we're going to find out who this catfish is real quick. Hello. Hey, uh, so you can stop to me. Yeah, hey, this is Ace. Yeah, this is Ace. Ace. That's a fake hey, name. Hey, man, how you doing? Um, good, good. Uh, do you know about the show Catfish? Yeah. Okay, cool. She got the Nicki Minaj um, nails. We're working on an episode now. Not Cammy, but With the girl. a lady who um, I think you've been talking to named Tracy. And we're hey, just Tracy. hoping we could get you guys to meet up even virtually face to face. Um, we're in a Zoom. And just full disclosure, I want to be honest with you. We already know that the pictures that you had sent her are not actually you. Uh oh. Tracy. So he's saying he already tried to contact her as himself. It didn't work, so he contacted her as somebody else. I'm wondering what is so wrong with this guy where it didn't work. Let's see. Let's find out. Maybe just not her type, right? We've seen some things on this show. He's got two phones. What's he, Kevin Gates? Uh, all right, so I'll send you that link. And we'll, I got I look two forward. phones. One for the catfish and one for the bros. Just speaking with you. Thanks. All right, here we go. He definitely was outside. First of all, that is the first time in years that I've actually heard the phone be hung, hung up. <laughs> yeah. 
It used to be so fun hanging up a phone when you were angry back in the day. It's just not the same hitting a button. Wait, so he said that he tried to reach out. It's like trying to, if you're in a bad mood and you try to slam a cabinet, but it's the the slow or soft closing, easy for me to say, cabinets, where you shut them and it's like, like, all right, I'm done. It's just not the same, right? You just want a good slam noise every now and then. It's like if you go to hang up, all right, you know what? We're done. You used to be able to be like, bam, hang up the phone. Now it's like, I'm done. Hold on. They moved, the, they moved where the hang-up button is on the back. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> it's just not the same. Also, our boy Neve always with the chests here. I'll tell you what. Always looking like he's about to be a werewolf. <laughs> to you as himself. It that must you... have been before. <sighs> when? Yeah, who? I mean, you might have had people message you and, and try to... Right, it probably happens often. So it could have been any number of guys who were like, hey, Okay, what's let's up? see if she oh, remembers. God, who is this? You oh. might have a deep roster. Oh, he's about to be here. Whoa! Wow. I'll tell you what. Is that a wig? That is a lot of hair. That is a lot of hair. I will I will say. That almost looks like a tarantula. All right. What is that? What is that? She said. Oh, that's Hello. not a good sign. I mean, wow. Oh, wow. It's Corbin Blue. <laughs> Little high school musical there. Wow. Okay. Okay, Corbin's got the leather jacket. Got a lot. I mean, that might be a wig, but I really truly never know. I'm always wrong with hair. If that's not, I mean, he's got the JC Kalen. Actually kind of looking like Dream. I just saw Dream the other day. Did another face reveal. I think he did his eighth fa face reveal of the year, and his hair's like that. But okay, hey, girl, the curls get the girls. That's what they say. Who says that? I don't know. Somebody. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Obvious, I'm not the person in the picture. Okay, let's yes. see here. Does I, she remember? I see him? here on the Zoom. Your, is your name Tyrone? Is that Tyrone? Yeah. I knew his name wasn't Ace. First of all, I want to say sorry. Definitely not his real hair. You know, putting y'all on a wild goose chase, especially Tracy. <sighs> he looks like Why Justin look Guarini so from American oh Idol. My God, you look so good. You know what? I... But yeah, I just want. At least, at least he's complimenting her. Good. Oh my God, you look so good. <laughs> you know what? I... But yeah, I just want to apologize and start off with saying I'm sorry. Okay, that's a good way to start. Okay. <sighs> wow. So, Tyro, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Because we don't, you know, we're we're all very curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I am in LA and I'm okay. an artist, digital artist, and I do some modeling on the side. Oh, he's and a I do model. Travel and all that jazz. Of course, I like leather and I have a cat named King Julian who's on my bed over there. Okay, King you Julian. <laughs> we like Wait King Julian. There's no way that this is the same person I've been talking to the whole time. The voice. I'm oh, I was about to say, I'm guessing he's doing a fake voice. This man about to pull out a. Hey, <laughs> it's me, Ace. What's up, baby? Or maybe it's a high pitch. No, it's probably not a high pitch. I don't think she's falling for a guy that sounds like Fred. Shout out to Fred Figglehorn. It's not the same. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Ace, baby. It's Ace. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh, that's the voice he was using? That sounds so fake. Come on, Tracy. It's not the same. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Ace, baby, it's Ace. Oh, no. Oh, my God, okay. I'm, I'm he got her with, hey, baby, it's Ace. Oh, <laughs> he said, yeah. Come this back. <laughs> Get it together, baby. Oh, my. Hey, this guy's kind of funny. <laughs> he said, Get it together, baby. What is it? It's like he, he gave his best Barry White impression. Come on, ladies. Oh, God. Neve is speechless. They should kind of come back. Well, that is a major difference in baritone. You seem like a very confident guy. I'm mm, gonna say why is no, he? No, <laughs> not necessarily. I have my insecurities too, just like everyone yeah, else. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but, but, but you got a lot going on. So what right. the f are you doing on the internet, pretending to be Ace Rockwood? Ace Hood. I can't help how I feel about Tracy. I mean, oh. my feelings are real. I'm just in a different form. You know, she can still different get form. Ace. What is this? Dragon Ball Z. His final form? What is going on here? Oh, she's bad. He's pretty funny, though. I will say that. Tracy obviously not pumped. <laughs> okay, I'm 
sorry. I just needed a, a, a moment. That's fine. Yeah. Ooh. I know, look, I know I did a thing. I did a very thing. And for a long time, too. It wasn't just like a week or two or, you know, even that would have been bad, but. Those stools are just egregiously high to the counter. Bruh. How the hell do you sit on those? I mean, you're going to, you sit on those, you'd be banging your knees against the, against the. Tracy, you need some lower stools, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to see, you got, it's like a high chair. You got to, if you got to sit in that, you got to move back. Or else your knees are going to be clanking up against the, I mean, you're going to have to be eating, eating down like a puppet. I don't know about that one, Tracy. But yeah, who am I to judge, right? They look nice. Okay, a little zebra print. Right? Damn near a year. Like, my heart is still here for you. Honestly, I really like you because your energy, you're a wonderful mother, and you're just oh, this nice to say this cinnamon bear that I just love. I just want to nibble on you. Oh, okay, 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 hold on. Okay, okay, come on, man. Okay, cinnamon bear, that's something. All right, that's not the worst, but nibble, I want to nibble on you. Just giving a little Jeffrey Dahmer there. I don't know about that one. That's a little too much. I don't know how she's going to take that. At least he said nibble. Reminds me of like a rabbit, but still. If somebody said that to me, I think I'd get the restraining order ready. That's creepy. There you go, she <laughs> And agrees. I told you that thing I like about whipped cream. I really meant it. I like whipped cream with chocolate. Oh, oh wow, he's no, bringing it all out. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Ah, ah. Whoa. This dude, what's... Oh, and Megan the sta... Where is this guy going? He's losing his mind. I want to eat that body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. He said, ah, ah. <laughs> well... Tell you what, he has good energy. <laughs> You know I like your chocolate self. Come on now. It's nothing but love for you. Oh my gosh. And I'm willing to get this hair of mine and rub it in your under beyonders and your woo-ha and get you your all. Your woo-ha? You know, it's it's all real okay. for you. It's all well, real. We can go ahead and pass. Oh man, that. I'll tell you what, at least he's shooting his shot. I'll tell you what, for someone that says he's insecure, he's shooting his shot full confidence here. Talking about body yaddy yaddy yaddy. I mean, my goodness. Once again, though, I'd be looking up a restraining order, 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 because uh, getting a little too aggressive with the, the woo-ha. What is going on? Well, let me look. Tyrone, it would be great if you could drop that, This is real hair? You could just say, take it down a little bit. I'm going to say it's not. I still don't think it's real. I don't you, feel like you need to perform and just want you to talk to us. First of all, it would appear to us that you have at least recently been talking to her via a payphone. Is that? Are we oh, right yeah, I forgot about, about the payphone. Yeah. Thing. It's I, actually I didn't even know payphones existed. And I don't know about you guys, but here in LA, I've passed probably twenty payphones that used to exist, but the phone is gone or the cord is cut or it's just like the box or there's no dial tone. Like I don't know if there's been a working payphone in this area for five to ten years. I mean maybe it's just because my area people are just vicious and they'll just break everything, but I live in LA, but I, I didn't know payphones even around right next to my apartment and why are you using a payphone because she'll find out my true identity super fast all she Jeez. has to do you know us millennials you know this generation <laughs> period millennials. is super smart you could easily just put somebody phone in facebook and it pops right, up right. but so you have been in la yes right, well he's, you he's i guess he knows what he's doing there that next month you were gonna fly her out to miami to visit you like oh, that's why they said he hung up the phone you could hear him click and that he was outside, so that makes sense for the payphone. You know what? That is kind of romantic, though. Like I said, it worked for Adam Levine. A little different circumstances there, and it was a music video, and he wrote the song, but still. Are you going to do that? What was the plan? Yeah. Well, what I was going to do is, like, we were just going to have a little vacation. But eventually, I was going to show her my real self. I just didn't know how. Ooh, and that's oh. another reason why I'm finding, like, this catfish is a blessing. And I might look a little silly or goofy and all of that. But, you know, I know I deserve love. And you deserve it, too. Okay, Absolutely. well, that's, that's Everyone nice. Everyone deserves love, definitely. But the way you went about she it. She said, but not with you. Just, just the wrong way. You know, you came in with a lie. Like you said, you, you reached out to me before. I don't remember you ever reaching out to me. You could have approached me. He reached out on his Corbin Blue fan way. account. Maybe, maybe it was with a different profile, and I don't remember. But I do oh, remember Tracy. How many profiles does so, he? I don't know. This man you got a lot of profiles. Other profiles other than the Ace Davis profile. Okay, I will say Ace Davis. That is a pretty cool name. 
That kind of sounds like a P star, though. You know? I don't know if I say the full word if I'll get banned, but... Ace Davis. You know? Or it sounds like a law firm. Here at Ace Davis, we'll settle your claims in no time. Oh, shoot. I done told on myself. Hell. Uh oh Okay, but my whole thing is, Not why? Nice what? Doesn't it take extra to sit here and make fake profiles and do all this stuff? That's a lot. Originally, the <laughs> profiles was just more like me spying on my exes when I know they were cheating, and I ended no. up keeping a lot of those profiles. <laughs> Yo, he really casually dropped that one. Yeah, you know, I've just been using these profiles to spy on my exes. <laughs> okay. Not current girlfriends or anything, but his exes. That's why she's giving the old Kelly from Dance Mom's eyes. I don't blame her. The word spy, not great. Never use it, okay? And then, as COVID and the protesting and George Floyd and all that other stuff, it really made me very sad and depressed. I was going through a spiral of an anxiety and missing people, human interaction. So I made this profile, Ace. How many other profiles do you have that you use? I probably have, like, 10 or 15. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh hell no. <laughs> 10 to 15 different profiles? How do you even remember the logins? And how do you even remember to switch to each one? You need like your own database to remember who you're talking to. 15 profiles. <laughs> this, this dude is like King Catfish. Man, he's but got an arsenal. Use your other profiles to talk to people. He's got a lot of burner phones. Yeah. Some of them are. Maybe, your maybe he's using the pay phones for the burner. Relationships. Yes. How many people are you talking to right now, including Tracy? <sighs> it's, uh -oh. it's it's like at least over twenty. Damn! How? I mean, God! God. How, his, how does he find the time to be a model and have a life if he's talking to twenty people on fifteen different? Accounts. Oh my God, he's probably got like a, a Excel spreadsheet or like a Microsoft Word document, or he's got to have something. That is a lot of people at one. Talk. You imagine talking to twenty people romantically at once. It's hard enough for me to talk to one person. Okay, it's like I'm I'm terrified to letting somebody in. That's one solo human. I can't imagine twenty. Although he was being fake, so I guess it wasn't himself, but still. But wow. they're not as serious as her. <laughs> and are you in That's love with say. Tracy? Yes. And are oh you in God. love with any of these You other can't. People? No. You can't say that you're in love. Look, my boy, you can't say you're in love with Tracy if you're talking to 19 other women on 14 other profiles. If you're in love with somebody, that means you don't want to talk to anybody else. The thought of anybody else would get you sick to your stomach. Because you only have feelings for one person. So I, that's cat. That's I don't. All these catfish come on. And this guy's energy is not terrible compared to some people by any means. He's being honest. But like people come on here all the time and say, oh, I'm in love with this person. No. You might think you are. But if you're still doing all of that, you're not. You're clearly not in love with that person. Or you wouldn't be talking to 19 other human beings. I love any of these other people. No, no. The other, the other people, they were just I still playing, can't believe that's not honestly, a wig. a lot of them blocked me. Tyrone, it sounds like you don't know how to take a hit. Like, why not just meet somebody who likes you for you? Exactly. Tyrone, what you doing, Tyrone? Why are you creating these false Ace. personas and leading on these long relationships And wasting people? your time ch checking out ex exes when you could be making new, you know. Exactly. Yeah, never and waste honestly, your time on exes. That's what I've learned. If somebody is out of your life or they want to be out of your life or they cheated, you gotta just let it go. It sucks. I've been there. It's horrible. It's a terrible feeling to see somebody move on. But the dream scenario of something just randomly working out and that happen happening because you were stalking or spying on them, I can guarantee you, I don't know what Lifetime movies you've been watching, but it doesn't work. It just will never work out. That's just the facts of life. And even if it does work out and you do get back with an ex after a toxic relationship or something like that, the trust is never there. It's never the same. It just isn't. And I feel for that because I understand. I've been there. I've been cheated on before. It's a weird thing. You, you almost feel like you're at fault. You give that person another chance. It, it's just going to happen again. It sucks, but it is. So my boy Tyrone been wasting a lot of time not being himself.
And I feel like himself is enough. He seems like a really funny dude. He seems like he's got, you know, a good personality, can hold a conversation. He's not awkward. You know, he's actually made everybody on the show laugh, which is important, right? So, yeah. Really tough for me. I'm pansexual, so it's all about energy for me. I have dated transgender, I've dated men and female, and I don't really see sex. But Just it's always so does hard that. to actually find somebody who actually loves all of this. And the first thing they look at is the hair, and then the way I present myself. I don't know, I don't know if it's intimidating or if it's just a little too much for them. With the ace character, I just felt invincible. It was like the shield. Like I felt like Superman. I get okay. all of that. But Tracy is not who has vibing. So much going for themselves for someone who is loud and proud, pansexual. Exactly. Yeah. For someone who is And he knows who he is. That's good. Truth. You know, he knows himself to be well. Holding these lies is just hypocrite. It makes it any makes self-aware no sense. You <laughs> hypocrite. have no reason to. You could meet somebody great cammy looks but amazing instead, as always i just want to slide that in there channeling our sadness and anger and cammy every time i see her has a different hairstyle and every time it looks good i don't know how she does that it's impressive to multiple profiles i wish i can go back in time and fix it but i can't you know all i can do is move forward from here all i'm asking for is forgiveness you know she don't have to do it today because I don't want to come across as a douchebag, even though it's kind of looking like I'm a douchebag. <laughs> but I really am genuinely sorry for what I put you through. She's not buying. Yeah, I was going to say, it, 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 this ain't going to work on Tracy. Twin. All right. Everybody. That's the first episode down. Let, the first compilation. Let's see what some of the comments said. When he changed his voice, I lost. Yeah. Hey, what's up, baby? Why are you wasting your time checking X's when you could be making new ones? I didn't even catch that. That was kind of ruthless. <clears throat> he was probably talking about chocolate and cream. Nasty. Yeah. Yeah, he probably... He does look like one of those guys that would have instantly come with, like, some, some vile statements. The way he said he had multiple fake profiles on his ex to, to spy on his exes was, like, like it was perfectly acceptable normal behavior. Exactly. This man dropped it like it was, like, hey, just an average Tuesday conversation. Even though he's in the wrong, I still love his energy. <laughs> That's what I was saying, Angie. You know, he still was pretty funny. <laughs> he's definitely kind of a, a weirdo, but, you know. I, I will say that the voice thing was... Yeah, see, at least Tyrone is crazy, but I had to laugh. I agree. That's kind of how I'm feeling with it. But, but Shay says it right here. Think of how sociopathic you have to be to use a va fake voice for that long without slipping up. That is true. It's the wig for me. Okay, so it is a wig. Why didn't he should have did a dramatic? Well, he said the hair. I don't know if it is a wig. You guys in the comments probably know, but if not, it would have been cool if he did like a big reveal or something. My goodness, this guy should have his own comedy show. Yeah, I feel like he could do the whole show himself. He could just play every character. <laughs> he could play Ace. He could play Tyrone. I'm sure he could just do everything he wanted there. Oh man. What a, uh, the, uh, the, the voice reveal is pretty iconic moment. All right, let's go to the second one here. Hope you guys are enjoying this. You guys are appreciating the video here. We have who did this catfish victim really hook up with? We'll find out shortly. I believe let's see. Why does love have to be so hard? True. Dear Preach. Neve. Oh, we got Max and Neve back. My name is Joanna. I'm 26, and I live in Riverside, California. I'm right, not too far from me, about an hour. still in love with a girl named Bo. Bo. It was a crush, but I couldn't, couldn't get enough. Bo and I met over a Bo year and Arrow. ago on Plenty of Fish. I spotted her and immediately messaged her. We immediately hit it off, and we texted every day and night. I live my day at the I thought that said, I love your kinks, but okay, I love your ink, so hot. There you go. Talk about the tats. Shout out to people with tattoos. If you don't have them, not a big deal, but I have a whole whole sleeve of them, including my jack-o'-lantern, which is coming into fruition very soon. October, getting closer than ever. It just feels like it's a little loud. Let me turn this down a little bit. There's more you can't see. I'd show you if you were here. Okay, it's a good flirty text right there. Got the hoo-ha tat. After a few months of us talking, we officially started dating. She okay. brought out feelings that I didn't even know I could feel. I 
spell them. <laughs> the little Gwen Stefani there. The little, the Gwen, shout out to Gwen Stefani for teaching me how to spell bananas. Okay, I used to think it was B-A-N-N, but she put out that song, and I'll tell you what. I'll never forget being an ANS. I finally found the girl of my dreams. Who lives in San Bernardino? Wait a second. It's close. Know. Riverside and San Bernardino are right a next to each other. So this already doesn't look good for Joanna. We never FaceTimed or Skyped. Okay. We go. never met Shocking. in person, even though she lived in a neighboring town. Shocking. This wore on, and I started to have doubts. And after several failed attempts to meet, my worst nightmare happened. Oh. We broke up. Uh -oh. Joanne and Bo, no she more. talking to me and apparently got back with her ex-girlfriend. Oh. I was crushed. Ouch. I want to put her on the spot and demand answers, but I know Bo, and that will just push her away. This needs a delicate hand. Can you guys help? Show in. Once again, every single time. No FaceTime, no Skype, no Zoom, no Uvu, no Uvu Javer. Not even a, a Neo Megal, nothing. It's just unbelievable every single time. The best way to know if someone's a catfish or not is just be like, oh, let's FaceTime. If they say, nope, I can't 10 different times, guess what? Not looking great. These hands, <laughs> very delicate. Okay, let's get down to business. There was an understanding between you and Bo that like, you really looks like cool each there. other and that you would meet up soon. Mm -hmm. And it was a combination of your hectic, crazy schedule and her I crazy schedule. I can already schedule. tell she's a badass. She's got some cool ink. She got the head, the, the face like tats. Yeah. I'm so not cool enough to have those. And like, if you get tats around your eye, you're just a badass. Okay, I'm not messing with you. Meaning, like, she could beat me up. Like the like the lip piercing, though. That's cool. Got the what the heck are these? What would that even be considered? The eye, but the orbital bone piercing. I have zero piercings. Zero. I've never even dyed my hair before. I've like done nothing besides tattoos. I want to say a month or two went on and I told her I had a shoot in Vegas. And I invited her out and she told me that she was interested in going. So I said, okay, okay cool. Like she said she couldn't make it that Friday. She would be coming Saturday and that her friend wasn't going to be coming out like, on Friday. And I told her, well, like if your friend's going to be out, I'll meet up with your friend. You know, her, her friend's name's Anna. I think you'll dig Anna. She Here's her, her digits. Her okay. I started texting her friend and I told her like, we're going to be here if you want to meet us. So we ended up meeting each other and we were talking about Bo and stuff. So it was like, yeah, she was like telling me about her friend, their best friends. She knows that you and Bo are in a relationship. Mm -hmm. We end up partying, you know, having a good time. Yeah, so whatever, I guess we kissed. Oh, And whoa. then all of a sudden I get a message and- Kissing the friend. It was, Anna had told her everything. So. Uh-oh. And what did she say? She just said, you know, she wasn't gonna be coming out like to Vegas or whatever, but- well, I mean, that's kind of crazy happened? though, I mean. I would be pretty upset too if like my friend went to hang out with the girl I'm with and then they started kissing and I'd be a little bit I'd be a little bit upset. Happens in Vegas. <laughs> Definitely does not stay in Vegas. Okay, so this is some serious drama. Already yeah. starting Did off you on talk the wrong to Bo foot. Ever though? again after that? No. Oh. I needed closure and I wasn't getting it from her. Oh, I on both sides. And Anna agreed to meet with me. Where? At a bar. Here. Yeah, out here. And she then told me everything that happened. Bo had gotten back with her ex-girlfriend. So she broke up with you? Yeah, she, yeah, of course. Yes. And broke your heart. Oh. Uh, and that's the last time you see Anna? Yeah. I would say broke well, you your mean, heart, sure, but like once again, if you're hooking up with other people like that, I don't know, I'm not feeling that bad. You looking or hoping to get It's a nice house, though. Finally nice, meeting nice, uh, I want her. There. I want you a relationship. Like, yeah, you still want that. Yeah, I, I'm in love with her still. The connection we have is something She's I haven't She's got a lot of rings, man. She would not... I don't want to say that this is a way of getting her attention, well with but the metal detector. I feel like it is. You know, to show her that I really did up in front of everybody. So... Okay, at least she's being open about it. I'll give her that. All right, so People look, send up. us everything you have, and we'll get back to you. Thank you, guys, again. Send us everything you have. She just sends them $5,000. Like, no, 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 we did not mean your money. Riverside, very nice, very hot. So we got Bo's address. We've got her kick ID. I'm just thinking of Bo Burnham every photos. time they say Bo. Bo's friend's name is Anna. I don't have a last name for her, but her phone number is okay. And then we've got Anna's phone number, and that's it. Hmm, that's Let's cross-check some of those images. Okay, what if Anna is Bo? <laughs> Can you imagine? And the whole time, Bo... That would be... What am I even saying? Because how would that make sense? 
Although they never know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking. Get I've watched this show too many times. I start, I just start, my brain starts spinning. Oh, no. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nothing. Picture number two, picture number two. Searching. Nothing. Damn, no matches. Right, last one, we got one All right. More. Usually Damn. something matches. Putting all our eggs in this basket. Come on. Nothing. Damn. What else can we do? We got the address. Oh yeah, look up the address. Let's see, what do we got? Well, Whoa! Anna Oh, there you go. Same last name. What's Whoa. that? And both friend's name is Anna. That's something That's interesting. That's interesting. So, it could be that Anna and Bo are the same person. Oh, I might be right! I thought I was trying too hard, so maybe Bo acted like Anna was a thing so she could meet up and see if she was loyal? But that's crazy too. This is all crazy. Right. So let's just call Anna. See if we can... If that's the case, that's crazy know, on Bo's part. Me so then they both messed up. Contact. Hello? Yeah, hi. Is this Anna? Yeah, this is Anna. Hey, it's Neve and Max. We are calling from... I like the way she said the this MTV is Anna. Show Catfish. So What's we're out like here in Riverside. Story? Yeah, this is Anna. Because Joanna, who I know you... Joanna and Anna. ...has been talking to your friend, Bo, for the last year and was hoping that she'd be able to finally get to meet Bo. And obviously, you're a big part of this story. Okay. Bo used to be one of my really close friends, but we stopped talking. Joanna saying, being I don't uh, talk to her. I don't know about that. A little, little too, a little too uh, obvious here. We stopped talking. I don't talk to either of them anymore. So, mm. what's your last name? Got it. Okay. Lie. Can we meet up with you and talk about this a little bit more so it's not just over the phone? Yeah, I can meet up with you guys and tell you guys what I know. We'll okay. find I feel like if she was lying, she, why would she be meeting up? We'll I don't know. I'm info, confused. We'll meet you there in like an hour. I still think I'm overthinking it. Okay. Bye bye. I don't know. And I where did that come he from? Definitely, he definitely said Anna nope. Alvarado. Right. I could, she's I could either see a career <laughs> lifetime liar, in which case she's very dangerous, or she's totally innocent. That's what I'm saying. If she's meeting up with them, maybe she's here to clear her name. Maybe I'm wrong, although it doesn't look good that the flowers out front say BS. <laughs> it's not a good sign. It's a little bit of foreshadowing, maybe. Hello. Is that a cool looking place? Anna? Hey. Hey, hey, there's Anna. How you doing? Good, yeah, how are you? Neve, Max. How are you? I like this place, dude. are actually here. <laughs> the real deal. I would be Joanna confused if I met them as well, to be honest. I know her. Yeah. Sounds like you guys met. Maybe even a little bit more than met. When me and John met, we, like, I think we clicked. Her first words were like, oh my god, you're cute. And I'm like, um, okay, cool. Long story short, we hooked up. But, I mean, even after Vegas, you know, flies Bo, in the she had a girl the whole time. Like the whole time she had a girl, they were just on and off. Huh. Um, Bo got back with her girl, hey, look at all and those Joanna nuts. texted me. You know, hey, let's hang out. We went clubbing and we hooked up again. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, multiple times. Okay, Joanna trying to seem like she just made one little mistake. They, she did it twice. I don't. Okay, I'll tell you what. Come on, man. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't. I mean, you know. You do it twice, that's like, okay, well, you obviously knew what you were doing. That's a big, that's a big no-no. We were Nothing. acting like a couple, all night, like holding wow. hands, kissing and stuff. I guess after that, she just let me know that she didn't have feelings for me. She said wow. in a way she was trying to get back. It's messed up for Anna then. Uh, but I was like, well, that's not cool. Do you have any photos he was using her. of you and Bo together? Yeah, I have a few. Wait, that's Bo? Yeah. What? Wait. Looks very different from the pic the girl in the pictures. That's not very the bow. Okay, so not the bow that Joanna thinks she. Who the hell is Bo? <laughs> what do, do they know look who like? This is? No, I've never seen her. You never seen this girl? That looks like. I mean, it kind of looks like Anna, just with long hair. No, she's cute though. <laughs> I see a little bit of a gauge in that ear. No, I've never seen her. In my life. You never seen this girl? No, she's cute though. Could Could I wanna... You also be Bo? No. All that's left now okay. is to well, I guess reach out one. to. I'm so Bo confused. And put the whole thing to rest. Yeah. What is going on here? 
I mean, that's pretty interesting. I believe her. Yeah, I do oh, too. Okay. I don't okay. think she would lie to us. She doesn't seem like she has any reason. Okay, so they're usually their intuition is usually right, especially Max. If Max says he believes somebody, usually it turns out. So if that's the case, my apologies to Anna. Okay, and if if Joanna used her, that's not cool, right? To get back at Bo, like that's not cool. But who is Bo? Bo's out here doing comedy festivals. My boy Bo Burnham. So what's so what's the real Bo doing? Reason to lie. She didn't know that her friend was essentially catfishing Joanna. I hadn't even considered this that. This is a lot so of layers, man. This is like an onion. Bo, scallion. To be Megan the scallion. Out. Right. Has no problem with it. Likes girls. Why would she send a picture of a stud who's no more or less pretty than she is? I think the next move is to they kind of tell look Joanna like. what we found out. I don't know how she's going to take it when we tell her that uh, Bo They should have asked to see the, the shoulder the if they had the shoulder tattoo. Like the person in the picture. Joanna is obviously Anderson very pretty. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, so we didn't have a ton, obviously. We had the email that you sent us yesterday, which had Anna's phone number. So we just called Anna. And yesterday afternoon, we went and met up with Anna. And she kind of gave us her version of the story. One thing, though, that she said that was well, interesting. She's got the gauges, too. This is a little bit different than your version of the story was that However many weeks later that you guys met up again, she then felt that you were flirting with her and I guess we're holding hands. Oh, and boy, the truth is coming out here. Again. Oh, hell no. Oh. But what was really sort of the... See, I don't like... She said, oh, hell no. Well, it's like you hooked up once. How are you going to make me feel like you didn't hook up again and say, oh, hell no? Turning point with Anna was we said to her, do you have any pictures of you and Bo? And she did. She showed us a snap of her and Bo. Oh, hell no. All right, so I'm gonna send Bo. Oh, hell no! So who's that person? Message. Hey, Bo, this is Neve from Catfish. We've been talking to your friend Joanna. Who would love to meet you? Joanna, you oh, no, Can you please call me when you get a chance? Yeah. Does Joanna still have my address? Oh. Whoa. Weird response. You can come over when I'm home in a few hours. Okay, Bo. Whoever you're talking to, we've got them engaged. They're willing to meet up with us. I'm ready. Wow, okay, this is getting okay. good. Let's do it. Who does Neve walk out with? Bo, Anna, or Total Rando? I'm gonna, man. My initial thought was that Bo and Anna are the same. Now I'm going to say it's a total rando because I'll agree with Neve and Max. I like the little quiz here, though. It feels like I'm back in school. Yeah, Ghosted does this, but theirs are a little worse. Also, these these sandals, how do you, like, if you... Oh, you guys can't see them. Hold on. How do you, like, tan in those? Wouldn't they leave, like, the weirdest tan lines of, of all time? All right, here we go. Let's find out. And... Oh, dude, I was right! Wow! Anna was Bo the whole time! <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's... So she lied to everybody. Wow. Wow! Oh, my God! Oh, this ain't gonna end well. Joanne's gonna be mad as hell. No. I don't John. even want to hear it. Are you serious? Wow. It's been you the whole time. Everything's been you the whole time. What a crazy thing that they did. I'm sorry. And then you're you're going around saying that we slept together. That's what you said. I never said we slept. That's what you, you said. Know. That's what said. You bull too, dude. How did I bull? What did I say? Oh, chill out. Oh, Don't shit. talk to me no, like that. You. What oh, did no. I say? Oh no. What did I say? You think it's cool to really with my emotions? Like for what? For what? It's Is this not making going you well. look good? No, it's not. Is this making you look good? good? But you act like I'm the only one going around lying when you're bull too. How am I bull about what? It's our bull what? I'm about to go. Well, this did not go as I thought it would. Joanna looks like she's about to beat her up. <laughs> oh my god. Are you cool? No, I'm you're not cool. cool? I'm not. No, no. So no, they just—they're just lying. 
You didn't say that we slept together? That's not what I you said? I didn't say we slept together, but I think you go around bull and lying about, like, we did hook up twice. And, like, oh, we damn. hooked up twice? Yeah, we, we did. hooked up twice. We hooked oh. up twice. Oh, oh, my God. I was joking about the beat up thing. Whoa. God damn. Oh, my God. That, that was a vicious slap. Holy wow. I don't know if I've ever seen that in this show. Good Lord. She went. My goodness, that just took me out. I did not expect that at all. He said, hey, Bo. Shut up. Like, we did hook up twice. Damn, look and, like, at this. Let's, look, let's look at that. Yeah. Boom. We we hooked up twice. Rears back. Oh, tries to get out of the way. Oh my good. Look at Max. Look at Max. No reaction time. He's like, oh shit. Damn. That that was a vicious smack right there. Oh my. Okay. Goes right back inside. That's so awkward. Imagine getting smacked in the face on TV after lying and then going back in the house. Oh. 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 Whoa. Came back in. Come back out. Like this? The side, I look at the you side eye from uh, from Neve. You got the producers coming in, that's when you know it's a problem. Bring, look at Neve here. He's like like the office. He's like, you guys seeing this shit? Some like this? Wow. You. My god, that ended in blows. No, literally. Bows. Get it? Bows, blows like okay. this. I don't know who to believe. So uh, Joanna technically Thought she hooked up with the friend still. That still doesn't make it better. They're both liars. But then she, I guess, technically hooked up with Bo. But she thought she was hooking up with the friend. This is wild. I just wanted to see her and tell her myself. I knew if I told you I wasn't going to see her. Because I know how she did. They did call it, though. <laughs> that did not go well for either party. In the pictures that you showed us. That's my cousin. Oh, the girl in the pictures you sent Joanna is someone just you found on the internet? Just some random girl. You guys have an actual history with each other, and now there's been this altercation, and like, I don't want things to end like this. So, for today, I think it's best for both well, of you. Tomorrow, we're going to box one on one influencer boxing. You okay? I feel like, home? yeah, I want to go. I want to get out of here. Joanna is about that action. I'll give her that. It's not cool that you hit her. I mean, she yeah. definitely didn't start a fight with you. What was she expecting? I, oh, what, she, what was she expecting? What she was expecting, we not to get hit, actually. But... Which is why she didn't have the nerve to tell you before. But that's not an excuse. That's horrible. Like, it's just. I'm just saying, violence just a lose -lose. Is, is never something that's okay in a situation that doesn't need You've to You've given the old dad talk here. Stupid. I still think that's the same person, just with longer hair. Okay. Ready? Are they yeah, talking I'm again ready. the next day? Alright. Let's head in there. We got gloves on? What's going on? I would be wearing, like, a mask and, like, a chest plate just to prepare myself. Some bulletproof vest. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. So, it's okay if we come in? Yeah. They're all scared of her. They're like, are you going to smack us? Stand just start smacking everybody. Max, you get one knee. Come on. Guy. No. Todd. I'm just going to stand here. I don't think there's any reason to think that you guys can't just talk to each other for a minute. It's like when I made the whole thing, I made, I made a profile with my pictures and stuff. And it's just like to me when you hit me up, like when I looked at your profile, like everything, it was just like, you're just a really unique girl, and but when you hit me up, it's like, just couldn't ignore your message, you know? I, like, there's a lot of times where I wanted to tell you the truth, but it was just really hard for me to let that go, because you, like, became my rock. Coming out and telling me the truth, I, I appreciate it, but at the same time, like, you knew for a year, like, you're bullshitting me, and I kind of feel like you're playing the victim card right now. I'm not playing the victim. I admit to everything I did. She doesn't know what it's like to feel like you right now in this scenario. I didn't mean for it to me like so angry, but I was sad. I did cry. You know what I mean? I cried all last night. To me, it feels like I'm mourning the loss of somebody that never even existed. Ooh, that's my fault. Just give me some time, I guess. And we'll go from there. Like, I don't hate you. It's definitely a huge learning experience. 
I just need some time. Neve, look at the Neve's mustache in that upper right, man. That's wild. I guess we'll just see what happens. At. All right. Wow. That was uh. Why does that was a wild episode? My goodness. If you're willing to ruin a random relationship, a relationship for a random hookup, you aren't in love with them. I agree. Still, was weird that she did that. Okay. How can you be officially dating someone you've never met, never FaceTimed or Skyped with, never had them send an actual photo? I agree. Just hold up the red flag at that point. She slapped her because she refused to lie and say they didn't hook up. That's what I'm saying. It's like two wrongs don't make a right here. Because I mean, they did hook up. She admitted that. And then she didn't want to admit it there. Kind of felt bad at the end for, for Bo more than I did Joanna. But both of them went, you know, went through it. It messed up for both of them. So, wow. Okay, well, there you go. We're back to some catfish. Hope that was entertaining for you guys. Um, now, if you're still here, thank you. You're one of the real ones. I'll explain what's been going on in my life. Number one, if you're still here, make sure to like the video if you haven't yet. Make sure to comment something at some point before the video ends here. Um, but yeah, the 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 truth is, uh, I got sick uh, the first week of July. Thought I had COVID. This beard hair there is bothering me. Thought I had COVID. Took a test, didn't. Right. Was sick for like ten days, and then one of the days I walked outside and my eyes were all funky. Like I went to walk to Seven Eleven. And every, every the, the the red light, it was at night. The red light, the stoplight was so bright. All the lights around it were so bright. It had huge hues around it. And I was like, whoa. That happened to me when I got my LASIK for about a week. They said, oh, that'll go away. And it did, right? Like when I got my LASIK. Um, which made sense because it was surgery, whatever. So I was like, all right, this sucks. But whatever, I'm sick. You know, I've been coughing a lot. I've been sneezing a lot. Head congestion. I'll be okay. Went to an optometrist. They were like, oh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of kind of weird, but, you know, that should go away. No problem. Well, now we're it's been it's been like 50 days and it has not gone away. And it has really, really was starting to ruin my life, um, to be honest with you. The sun is pretty unbearable. Most light is pretty unbearable. Um, not like natural light if I'm chilling. Or like in my room, it's not too bad. But any LED, any headlights at night, it just is like five times brighter than it used to be. And it's, it hurts my eyes. So even if I go to like a friend's house at night and all their lights are on, my eyes are kind of like this and it's annoying. And I've been going to ophthalmologist after ophthalmologist and they said it could be dry eye, it could be your pupils. And it just hasn't been. So it's something deeper. I think something's going on with the co the cones and the rods, which is kind of like the plug to a television. And it's like my eyes short-circuited and have not been able to find their way back. And it's been very scary. And I started getting a little bit depressed. And I haven't gotten depressed in a, in a while. And I started staying inside because I was scared of going outside. Even during the daytime, glare off of a car it's like a sunburst. So you walk down the street, you see 10 cars and it's like this and it's not a very enjoyable thing. So I'm starting to get used to it. I found some sunglasses. I can obviously still like do this and it's, it makes my eyes a little weird, but I can still do this. I'm not in any physical pain right now, but it's just been a lot. It's been a huge life change. It's been a big change to the way I see literally. And it's been scary. And I, started slipping into a depression and my anxiety got worse because obviously now I'm at the point where I'm like, okay, this might be permanent or it's going to take me a while to figure this out. And I did the mistake of reading things online and didn't find anything great about the future of having this. Um, some people call it rod dystrophy. And um, so I just was a hermit for about a month. And, um, I'm usually the funny guy, right? I'm usually the guy that tries to be the lighthearted person making everybody's day better. But the truth is I was, um, and I still am struggling, um, but I'm coping better than I did because I really was thinking like, man, this is like life altering and um, very scary, especially as someone like me who is a hypochondriac, who I lost my mom. I've lost all my grandparents, aunt. Some of my great friends just lost a lot of people in my life. So I just get very scared when health things happen. So uh, 
I got an MRI recently to rule out anything serious like MS or ALS, and that came up clean. No abnormalities, which is great. Um, so it's nothing tumor related. It's nothing pressuring my eyes. It's nothing optical nerve related. But the problem is still can't find out what's going on. So I have a neurologist, ophthalmologist. <laughs> Try saying that five times fast. Appointment coming up in a couple of weeks here. That's a pretty big one. Hoping that that can lead to some things. But that's why I'm doing this drop. And that's why I have this merch drop sign behind me. Um, because all the proceeds, like I said, that are going to go from this are going to go to all my medical bills. I don't have insurance. And if you're like, why? It's because insurance here is about $500. I've tried multiple times to get it cheaper. I can't. Um, so I'm dropping this nervous for no reason. Um, periwinkle, light blue and white shirt on Friday. Um, like I said, the, the first of September, uh, because it's just been thousands of dollars of things and eye drops that I tried to get that would, didn't work. That were hundreds of dollars. Uh, you know, the MRIs are not cheap. Doctor appointments, ophthalmologist, optometrist. It's just been a nightmare and obviously something I did not plan for. It happened so randomly. I have been, I haven't smoked in months. You know, I've been completely sober. I'm on, uh, the Lexapro now generic Lexapro. Um, and that's been messing with me a little bit, making me tired. And I've just been really going through it right. I'll get trying to get too emotional. Um, and I've explained this on stream. If you haven't followed me on my stream yet, twitch.tv slash not Ryan, but love to have you over there. Um, I've just been going through the ringer. Um, I feel like my life completely changed. Um, been going to therapy and hoping that this uh, Lexapro works. Um, I'm going to switch to taking it at nighttime because during the day it's been making me feel kind of zombie-like and fatigued. So I've just been going through so many things at once. I started to neglect this channel, which is a shame because this channel is what brings me so much joy. And you guys watching this that get entertainment is why I do it. So I wanted to apologize for, for not posting for weeks here. But just know that um, it's just been rough, man. It's been hell. It's been hell on my head. It's been it's been hell on my anxiety, you know. And I'm not used to this, so I'm trying to been trying to remain positive and think that hey, if I have to deal with this forever, that I can get through it and I can hopefully figure things out, ways to make this easier on me. I don't think I've left the house outside at night in a while because it's still pretty scary when you go out and you're on the highway and it just looks like someone's shining a thousand flashlights in your eyes. It's very abrasive. So not that I owe anyone an explanation, right? I am, you know, I, I can do whatever, but I, I, you guys are like my family on here. Um, the nice things you always comment, always bring me a lot of joy. And I felt the need to explain what's been going on. So just know I'm not giving up. I'm still going to try to figure out what the hell's happening to me. Um, and either way, I'm not going to let this ruin my life. There are definitely some moments where I was not in the best headspace, but I like to be open about it and honest to people. So they, if they see me struggling or they just see me not in a great mood, they know that like, Hey, let's just let him do his thing. And, it, and, and it's not cause I'm mad at somebody or upset. It's just cause I've just been going through a lot. So that's that. I'm going to try to power through everything, though, and continue to upload on this channel. Not let this ruin, like I said, ruin the good things in my life just because something bad happened. So um, I love you guys for the 20 of you that have stuck around to 53 minutes in to listen to me rant here. Um, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for sticking with me. Uh, if you're watching this video, it means a lot. I hope you, you, you stick around. <clears throat> and um, And if you can support that merch drop... It would mean a ton to me. Even if you're someone that doesn't usually buy merch from YouTubers or people like that, I'm telling you, I could really use the support. It's been a lot financially. Just trying to be as transparent as possible, man. It's been, that's been a scary part too. You know, when you don't expect something like that to happen and, and suddenly you have thousands and thousands of dollars of medical bills, it's on top of everything else. It's very scary. So like I said, best bet would be follow me on Instagram if you can. The link will be in the description, um, and I'm going to post on my story on the 1st of September Friday where you can get the merch and and how and how you can do all that, and I'll have reminders and stuff up and, and everything. So I would love, love, love your support. Um, it would mean a lot to me, and if you can't support that way, like I said, just supporting this channel on my Twitch um, goes a long way. It takes 
take some of the burden off that I've been feeling. I, I, I live in LA. I'm far from my family. So it's been, you know, some days I feel like I'm doing this on my own in my room with the dogs. And, um, you know, I'm not used to getting headaches. I've been getting headaches every day. And, uh, you know, I'm taking fucking tension headache medicine. I have fucking sinus medicine. I never, I never been doing stuff like this my whole life. I have a fucking wellness formula. I have 40 things in front of me. And I just feel like I went from the, the age of being in my early thirties to my late seventies in like a day when this happened. So it's been, uh. It's just been, it's been a lot. <laughs> so that is it. Don't want to keep you guys for much longer. I will be back with more videos. And uh, I love you guys and I hope to see you real soon, okay? Have a great rest of your night. Hope this video at least was entertaining. Hope that you like the catfish content. And uh, thanks for listening to me blab. I appreciate it a lot. All right, guys. I'll see you soon.